Hey everybody, welcome back to Expedition Homestead. Today we're going to be checking out our new drip irrigation system that we're going to have for some of our indoor plants because I tell you what, we have been so incredibly busy but I don't want my plants to suffer. And I know a lot of you are in that same situation. So this is a very affordable product that is going to solve that problem for us today. So we're going to set it up and then show you an overview of what it does and obviously we can go through the benefits as well. Specifically, this is all about being too busy to get around to watering all the plants, even though sometimes it doesn't take that much effort or time in our daily lives. It does take remembering and scheduling and we're not perfect, none of us are perfect. So things like this can definitely help out the overall efficiency and health in our garden. So that's what I'm going to display in today's video. Another great thing about this is that, you know, sometimes with these containers that have holes in the bottom or drips in the bottom, there's just not a whole lot of space in there. So ultimately they end up overflowing. So what I usually do is take it out to the kitchen sink anyways, unless we've got sealed containers like this. But I usually take all of these into the kitchen area anyways. And so it's like an extra added step and this is also going to remove the need for this uh, because it's a drip irrigation system here. So it's watering little bits at a time, keeping that soil nice and moist so our plants can be happy and healthy. Our plants aren't looking too bad. This pothos, I'm not so sure about. So I think I'm gonna give away a bunch of the cuttings and then just you know chop it there so these leaves get nice and big. Um, it's getting a little bit out of control here. Unlike this one, which we've really been training well and it's been doing a really, really good job. I like the way it looks there, but the one by the other window, I think it just uh, kind of clutters the space a little bit where this fills in this corner of our room quite nicely, actually. A little bit of work needs to be done, that's for sure. Um, in the winter months, even though typically I have a lot more time devoted to my plants, I recently changed jobs. So going through that job transition has taken my indoor gardening and put it a little bit off to the wayside compared to usual in the winter months. I can usually crank out a ton of videos and content all about indoor gardening and house plants and the different plants that we're propagating during these months specifically. But you know, life is a journey. We just gotta take it one moment at a time. I'm doing the best I can nonetheless. All right, let's set up this Rainpoint watering system. Inside the box, we've got the pump itself. I connected it to the USB power supply that came with it. Then the tubing filters and connectors for splicing your tubing together, as well as these, which will stake into the ground and hold the tubing into place if you're using it in a spot where you need that. So we're gonna use this as our water reservoir. Then I'm going to connect this pump right here, have it on the backside so I don't see it. And then we're going to have our inlet and outlet uh, conduits coming across here, feeding my plants with water. Then included are these handy dandy little stakes, which is actually where the water will exit the tubing. At the end of it here, see how it's a little bit serrated? That's actually a spot where the water can then get out of the tubing. So this will be the outlet point. So we're going to stick it in there. Got it all set up and stepping back, you really can barely notice it unless you're really looking for it. It kind of blends right in, which is nice. We've got the T's set up on every single one. So we've got this plant here, 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 and there. All set up. It took me about 15 minutes in total just to cut the pieces. Super easy process. Look at that. Love it so far. And we just downloaded the app. Now we've downloaded the application and right away this pops up. So we've got this Wi-Fi irrigation pump to add. I can name it. All 
I have to go through my Wi-Fi setup here. And now it is adding the pump. All right, and then I have it on auto run right now, so it'll go in the next 26 minutes. Otherwise, I can select this right here, and the pump is currently going to be on. So right here, you can see the water dripping down into it. And they're illustrating, that's what it looks like, where the water drips down into the soil. And, oh, just like that, plug and play system is completed. So this pump is going to go off for 30 seconds. It looks like every half hour. And then you can also set up your own timing schedule. If you've got plants that require different amounts of watering, you can do that. So you can set as many hours as you would like in between the watering and then you can set how long it is watering your plants for. One of the first things you should do right away though is go to all of the different drip loops, making sure that either your teas are not leaking and that you are getting water to the base of your plant. Um, when I started mine right there, you see all that water, I didn't have it quite tight enough in the pump itself, but I have since fixed that problem and now we're all set up and ready to go. And suddenly I feel a relief off my shoulders as now I don't have to do anything for these plants except for fill this reservoir, which is going to be so much easier than watering each and every one of these plants separately. The system is fully automated. The app was extremely easy to set up. I mean like foolproof. I got it done within two minutes. Very, very simple. The, the whole process in total, including making this video and filming you, you guys, um, has taken about half an hour. So very happy with it. I'm excited to now have this to utilize for my front bay window here. And I honestly might be buying more of them for my downstairs setup as well, because automation is something that I'm getting to the point of needing because of my lifestyle and schedule with the plants and garden. So I can make sure that I keep them up to date and 100% as healthy as possible for you guys. Watering has been my latest snag that I've ran into, so I think automation is gonna help out with that. Well, thank you all so much for watching. I wish you a great gardening adventure, and I'll see you in the next episode.